This video deals with stretch reflex mechanisms. When you take a look at the literature, many articles indicate that you need to stretch for about 30 to 60 seconds in order to get a greater range of motion. Why is that? Well, it has to do both with neuro or reflexive inhibition and connective tissue. So for example, let's say I start stretching. And since I haven't warmed up too much, this is about as far as I can reach right now. So what's happening to my muscles? Well, what you're going to find is in my hamstrings, of course, we have those muscle spindles. The muscle spindles have two major components. You have nuclear bag and nuclear chain fibers. And what are their jobs? The nuclear chain fibers, they detect the extent of the change in the length of the muscle. So how, how far did I stretch? Send that, mus that information back to the central nervous system, the cerebellum, to give me an idea in terms of proprioception where my body is. Now the nuclear bag fibers, their job is to detect the rate of change. Did I move to that new position fast or slow? The two of those together, the nuclear bag, which is rate, the nuclear chain, which is the extent, work together to give me an idea of my position in space. Now the nuclear bag fibers are innervated by what are called annulospiral fibers. So those are the afferent fibers that go back and they actually attach onto the nuclear bag and nuclear chain. So I get a combined information from my central nervous system to my central nervous system about the rate and extent of change. You also have what are known as flower spray endings, which is an afferent that goes back to the central nervous system. They attach only to the nuclear chain fibers, so the ones that just give us the extent. So what's going to happen? Well, I've probably been talking here for over a minute. And when I first went and did the stretch, of course, the nuclear chain fibers turned on to tell me how far I stretched, and the nuclear bag fibers turned on to tell me how fast I stretched. But I haven't moved in over a minute. So the nuclear bag fibers, sense that since there's no movement, they're going to turn off. We know that the muscle spindles are excitatory. They're going to send these excitatory signals back to the motor neurons. But if there's no nuclear bag fibers firing anymore because there's no rate of change, then that means my muscle should have relaxed. So you'll notice, without doing anything, I can now reach farther than I did before. So I'm reaching farther because my nuclear bag fibers have decreased their activity, so my muscle isn't as excited. And also my nuclear chain fibers, which tells me extent, after a period of time, they tend to accommodate the new information. Meaning that if I hold a position for a long enough period of time, then their activity decreases as well. So both nuclear chain and nuclear bag are going to slow down. Now I just had moved to a new position, so therefore there's a change in rate and a change in the extent of length. But again, I've been talking for 30 or 40 seconds, so there's been no change in the rate. Therefore, those nuclear bag fibers, innervated by the annular spiral, again, are going to be less excited and less excite my muscles. So therefore, and because I've been holding this for a long period of time, the nuclear chain fibers are going to accommodate and also slow down their firing. So what should happen? I should have even more relaxed muscles. Ah. So once again, I'm able to go a little bit farther because my muscles are relaxing. Now, there's also connective tissue. So my tendons, my, not for the most part my ligaments, but most of my tendons and connective tissue in the muscle are being mechanically stretched while I'm stretching here. So they're going to start creeping. When I say creeping, they're going to start extending and going to become more slack. So the combination of the mechanical slackness of the connective tissue that I'm working on and this reflex action, nuclear bag, rate of change, nuclear chain, extent of change, and their decreased activity allows me ah, to go even farther. So that's why the research says it's better to do extended range of motion changes, 30 to 60 seconds, because you're working on inhibiting those reflexes. Short uh, stretching durations of 6 or 8 or 10 seconds won't do as good a job. Now we know from the literature that extended stretching durations will also impair performance. But what we're talking about here is that we just want to look at improving range of motion. So you would not be doing 30 to 60 second stretches before you go out on the basketball court or play hockey or lift weights. You'll be doing short duration stretches so you don't impair performance. If you want to improve your range of motion, then you want 
increased range of motion, you want longer stretching durations. So, in summary, nuclear bag fibers, rate of change. Nuclear chain fibers, extent of change. Hold it for a long period of time, nuclear bag tended to uh, decrease their activity first, and even nuclear chain decreases their activity to a greater extent. Muscle relaxes, you can reach farther. Connective tissue, you're pulling it apart, just like an elastic. You take an elastic and you pull it apart enough, and it won't be as elastic as it was before because of the creep, and allows you to have a greater range of motion.